but we're gonna be locking someone else in right here, right now, as we get started into our second, or not second game of the night, oh my goodness, could you imagine? Into our game of the night, we do have John Numbers and Vivi coming right in hot and ready for uh, winner's semis. And for these guys to fight so early in bracket isn't, it isn't like the craziest thing in the world, but it's a treat to see them, you know, the Trishas never really lie. Hi, Ubo. <laughs> my mic is muted. Oh, am I muted? No, am you're I fine. I'm no, alive. You're good now. You're alive. We're, we're so back. Here we are, watching another installment of the classic. <laughs> <laughs> I actively heard Vivi bemoan uh, this, <laughs> this certain circumstance that they seem to run into more than times than not, but it's always interesting to see how they approach it, right? Like, Vivi has a slew of characters at their disposal, a slew of different ideas. But today they're going with the Lucario and trying to uh, establish a lot more mobility rather than play such a hard uh, tank style. Yeah, for sure. And I think it may be working out. They're a lot more even than usual, but that's a... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, I yeah, that, that <laughs> happens in our in our in Smashy Bros, you know. A active hitboxes go crazy. Only grounded moves though. Oh, oh what a tech. a tech! Oh, we tech those for days. Good little shield wiggle, and we're gonna be parrying the aura sphere. However, it's still not gonna be quite enough. Going for the wear the wear. The rare we fit wear. down till. Not gonna take it quite yet. As Vivi started getting back on the game. Uh, right here, right now. Getting that aura sphere is hella charged up, but with the run of Epto, is gonna be taking it in John, John, John Numbers' favor. Man, the fact that everything fell so far, once Vivi missed the hit confirm on Orosphere, missed it, uh, didn't recognize that it didn't connect, but had Orosphere on block, all kind of fall by the wayside, because you can, you really have to capitalize on those moments as Lucario. You don't find too many opportunities to net stocks uh, just based on like playing advantage, you have to. You're, at this point, we're just kind of playing the strong, this the straight hit game. Excuse me, and that's that's a hard one to do when John Numbers is at his home. Yeah, which ledge? That's his friend. Ledge his friend. And now we're kind of back off ledge, and look what happens when you're off ledge. You Good get challenge. dash attacked. You don't die quite yet, but ledge his friend. It's like you know that one is bunch of episode where home, you know, indoors ledge. <laughs> that's exactly what Numbers is thinking right here, right now. Again. Vivi still living, finally getting that first shock. It's okay, it's Ubo. Hard. We're it's, living, we're living. It's <laughs> so tough. Like, the, plus, John is a he's a dissector of this game, and th despite Hello? the taunt, you know he's willing to play out every scenario as long and as needed as possible to get the W. Like that's just what he's built to do. Back throw. Uh -oh, okay. okay, that's an aggressive back throw. <laughs> okay, he's, Slams you down. Try, typically, you can get some sort of uh, tech chase setup, but mm -hmm. at this aura, he was looking for a looking for like a jump 50-50 instead. But numbers didn't fall for it. Good on numbers. Good patience. Good diligence from numbers all all around. The uh, deep breathing, active, and we're just gonna run across the stage, trying to see if we can find BB lacking. Going in for the aura sphere. Both these both these guys charging up their their uh, respective projectiles, but it's gonna be BB with the drop down back uh, back air. Taking numbers off stage where numbers is quite comfortable. Really deep, deep, deep breathing and a lack of a punish. We have Ubo choking the air next I, to me. I'm just. It's these little things. It's little things that make a huge difference against <laughs> We Fit. We Fit is such a tantalizing character to play against because of those small moments where if you don't capitalize, you don't try and make that aggressive play you end up having to wait for 30 to 45 seconds for your next opportunity. And again, playing a lot of respect to John canceling the deep breathing and choosing to play back instead. Up tilt not gonna combo here, my, looking for any one of these straight hits. War Sphere is pretty substantial and it Huge. will find the mark. Yes, I was so scared it wasn't gonna kill, but it definitely will at that percentage. And this is really good for Vivi, even though you're at four percent and anything could really happen when we fit with deep breathing active. Like that, really charged up smash on that shield. Gonna be taking it to about half right there. Numbers now playing a little more passively, just gonna be playing with the ball, playing with some citation as well. And BB has to find an entrance of some sort. That's why you see them going in and out, in and out. But as they go in, John comes in as well and goes for the back air. Numbers might, BB might be able to hit. Uh, numbers might be at the percent, and BB might be able to hit. Uh, something like a rising fair falling up air to set up some sort of combo uh, is, and keep it vertical. Pushing John horizontally 
only ends up resetting neutral at the end of the day for Vivi. You have to find a way to get John in a position where you're able to extend multiple hits, the spike hitbox, but no, uh, no up smash on the platform. Vivi mixing up the tech option just in the nick of time. This is going to be a very scary situation. Ow. Unfortunately, opted to charge up the Auras for a little bit longer rather than shield through that Sun Citation. We get the Barry, we don't get the following forward air, but we do get the dash attack on lock. John playing very, very well. Good idea from V, but just a little bit too late. V. Remember how, hey guys, remember how I said that um that counter is aura based? Yeah. Bro, that's that, That's the perfect opportunity to show you that that's it's correct. aura based. <laughs> and you know what's real fun? We get all. We get a little bit of damage here. Gets hit by this sun salutation, and yes. we reach the magic number, Montaneva. One ninety three. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> that number. Well, he exploded. The correction. <laughs> One ninety is maximum aura. Yes, we yes. have. We've. Is that one eighty? It's not one eighty. It's one ninety. Oh. At 190, All right, uh, you're hitting, I think it's 2.5 multiplier. Okay. You are killing people. Oh, so you he has deep breathing. He has deep breathing. Yes. Yes. That's, guys, you are killing Lucario people. with deep breathing. You are you oh. are becoming a problem for everyone. <laughs> Sakurai. <laughs> <laughs> We're very unserious in the booth tonight, as we see, but it was not unserious. Let my dog do funny things. Your dog is dogging out oh, right no. now. Put your dog what away. What the dog doing? <laughs> <laughs> they are play playing so, so well right now. And I love to see it. Going in for the double up there. And Vivi, again, has the point on board. So all we got to do is maintain that energy, maintain that that awareness of what Aura can do at 190. <laughs> at 190, maximum Aura. It's it's always different like percent gate uh, percent gates that you're passing. It's not like a true uh, scaling curve or sliding yeah. curve. It's zero to 20 and then you hit a next curve, you hit a next point at 65, and then the highest point at 190. 65 to like 100 is the sweet spot, assuming that doesn't happen to you, because, I mean, we fit down there is killing you with like... Three. That looked like it should have hit the stage, and then it looked like the game just curved BB around the stage, so they couldn't tech it whatsoever. Very unfortunate, but still not outside of our possibility. This is kind of where Vivi also started in game one and then just brought it back beautifully in game and, and then brought back beautifully game in game one as well. So going to game two, Vivi just has to play very smart. Going in for the counter, very much easily punishable by the grab into the forwarder, into the soccer ball, into Sun Sal? No, into the Aura Sphere. Oh, oh, that was cute. Yeah, he was. Uh, they were caught in the uh, hitbox animation, which means you don't bounce and you don't uh, grab legs. You just spiral straight on through. It's all dependent on the distance that you travel. VV certainly has an eye for detail. It's been the hallmark of their play style and calling out that air dodge straight outwards. Aura is going to make up that distance and make up this lead with the amount of aura that they're sporting. Yeah, absolutely. Gonna be jumping right over the Sun Citation. John Numbers with deep breathing. I think Vivi's just gonna be playing a little bit more around it, getting it caught out of the air with the with a downer, and then gain these life-saving tech on the side of the stage. But unfortunately, we're just not recognizing exactly where we were, and just got destroyed. I still respect the troll mentality because <laughs> it's a, it's a joke in the Lucario community. But, oh, there's uh, more. So get up, attack into E speed. Yeah, it's like this is the fakest thing, but sometimes it hits and it feels so good. <laughs> oh, we're trolling tonight as we should. VV at 58% to John numbers with, uh, honestly, with A2. You have deep breathing. You have a little bit of self-healing from the Citation as well. So it's just a matter of, from a deep breathing, I'm sorry. It's a matter of, can we get this back here off stage? Can we interrupt deep breathing? We definitely do the second thing at least. And we get the aura, but we sidestep and we kind of get punished by the back air. Still trying to spend this time you're, you're still in that realm of possibility here. 120 is not bad at all. Force palm flame, not gonna do it yet. And there's Huge. the speed. Let's go. Spon when it hits, it hits. Spontaneous burst options go crazy, but the deep breathing upper is still surviving. Interesting curve, go to ledge, but not able to get there in time. Vivi trying a very, very cute angle. Um, so if you're together. up in the, if you're up in mid eight, um, mid air like that, you can find a very tough angle where you curve 
down and sweet spot. Oh. But it is so <laughs> tight. Like that is hard. <laughs> Cause they changed difficult. They, they changed how E Speed works. It's kinda like driving a car now. Which is the worst. Which, is, which <laughs> made it worse. way harder than Smash 4. Why? So it's like Steer Star? Yeah. In, in, okay. For those who haven't played uh, Kirby Arrow. Right? I think of I think of Crazy Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's definitely drunk driving. <laughs> so we're gonna be switching over to the try and true here. We've been seeing a little bit of both tonight. The Lucario been been gassed today, but so has the, the hero the hero VV the VV hero. The same thing as always we always see, and this is something that John Numbers is a lot more familiar with. Uh, you know, for, forever, and you can't really see it. The confidence in in taking Hero off stage, knowing that Hero has like the worst airtime in the world. My poor baby. <laughs> Mont, it's hard to move. Mont, I want to point out, I think this is the first time I've had you on commentary where my overlay does the thing for Hero. I was looking, I know! It's so I good. was freaking oh, out about it when good. it was first dropped, like, like 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 a new like Smash release. Hey guys, Hero menu can like do the overlay, I love it. It's so, so good. New Xeno patches dropped, guys. <laughs> yeah, Xeno 1.3.1. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, the venue does go away whenever... I mean, the overlay goes away when menu is pulled out, so you can actually read it with me, which is quite nice. Going for the double Celerado forward, they're not going to be able to take it, but the Kaswoosh can be putting a little bit of a of a uh, wrench in John's recovery plans. I wanted to see the drop zone back air there from VB. Like, continue the pressure up, even without uh, the Accelerado online. You're burning so much mana here, Mop, but just these run-up grabs are so brave from VB, never feeling out of it as long as they're able to find one of these hits. You tried it. I mean, the swing was worth it. All right, going for the zap to get some space happening here. Uh, look the zoom for a se for the sizzle for a second, but noticing John isn't going to drop down and get hit by the sizzle. Opted to just go for another uh, 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 kaswoosh there. We do have a slow rod. We do fake out the the first one and then get the, the second forwarder active and loaded. Oomph is uh, active right now. 122% on VV. Not terrible. Going for the funny down air. And then we, we were thinking a little too hard there, Ubo. A little bit too hard. Just the assumption that John was gonna give VV space, like they backed off, they ran full stage, like, alright, I'll get a chance to pull up the menu. But and John was hunting. John <laughs> I wish there was like a mini commentary <laughs> cam you can see you. John was hunting. The, the posture was perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack. The horror movie. Oh god. Oh, oh man, that's, that's a very niche thing that one thing that Numbers hates about Wii Fit is that during her dash, she does not actually crouch down. So she's just in her perfect posture the entire time, which makes her really susceptible to like not low-profiling things, uh, funnily enough. But as we talk about that, getting the sizzle snipe not going to be quite enough there. We do only have a 12, we only have 12 MP at our disposal, and we use like 8 of it for heal, which is respectable. I completely agree with you. Deep breathing is still active, and Vivi's just kind of respecting that space a little bit here, knowing what numbers typically goes for, and then just waiting out the timer for that deep breathing. Very, very smart move. Just using the hero tech against other people. That's that's smart. Yeah, I mean, hero is one of the one of the characters that benefits off of just time passing. You slowly get your MP back. You slowly get you get a chance to look at menu now and again. So you're trying to put that like pressure on John. Is like how how willing are you to play at max play against max strength hero? But Vivi choosing to burn up quite a bit on spells. The bang came out, so trying to find an up tilt as well. Anything to close out this stock. But Numbers is not having a zoom right back to stage. Great zoom from Vivi going in for the zap once more. Nearly jumping right over the secondly charged uh, Sun Citation. And what can we get started here? We try to go for the fizzle. Not going to be enough. We go for a bounce. The, the shield bash into the sword slash of the f tilt going to be coming in clutch. 96% is not terrible to deal with John Numbers as VV until I say we go to 120%. Oomph is active, but do it matter when you go for dash attack? You know what I learned people don't know? What? That, um, that Oomph also affects together. your yep. Zapple line of spells. Yes. People forget this because people think that, okay, it won't affect your magic or whatever, but actually it does because it's considered physical. Yeah. It's considered physical. It's physical and magical. Uh, on top of Oomph having a self-harm as well. You, yes. You take... Uh, you deal 1.2, but take 1.1. Yep. Yeah. The same with Sync Up. It also affects Zap because it's a it's technically yes. a physical move. So yeah, I, people didn't know that, and I was like, "What do you mean you don't know that Psycho affects Zap?" That's the always. That's the fun <laughs> part about Hero. Like of all the characters that were revealed, like um, in this game in general, they usually have like one centralizing mechanic that they tried to play with. 
Hero is like everything in the kitchen sink. I so, love it. I and love and it. it's chaos is the constant, and it's great. But it does mean you sacrifice a lot of that flex. You a lot of that uh, because you have so much going on. You do have to sacrifice some base stats, and that's consistently what players are able to exploit with Hero. That yeah. low airspeed, as you mentioned, can just be so killer. Exactly, and 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 that's okay. Like. You can definitely give zero, zero, oh my goodness. You can definitely give Hero, like, the zero to death of all time with Thwack and oh, Whack. Yeah. And in response, you, he should be weaker fundamentally as a character. Oh yeah. Absolutely. That's why I don't mind when people are, like expose Hero. Because, you know, he is kind of bad. And I love it. He's just That's there fine. to be funny and goofy. There was a magic burst on stream earlier, and I was losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> like... That's the fun part about it. Like, you can have characters in across the board like you can have mm -hmm. characters in games that exist just for like they're not built to always be the best of the best